This is Jared from TheReligionTeacher.com. The blessing of the throats is a common practice during or around the Feast of St. Blaise. So St. Blaise was a, a bishop and a martyr in the early church. We don't know a lot about his life, but we do have stories about him being a doctor, a physician, before he became a priest and a bishop. And there's one particular story in which there was a child who was choking on a fish and nearly died, but miraculously St. Blaise was there to he, to heal him. So this is associated with St. Blaise. And you, you'll notice whether this happens at the end of Mass or on the actual Feast of St. Blaise, you'll have the priest who will put a cross of two intersecting candles around a person's neck, saying, through the intercession of St. Blaise, may God protect you from every disease of the throat and every other illness. So it's a blessing to protect us from sicknesses, especially of the throat, during wintertime. Now, now, why candles? Why, why are there candles being used in the shape of a cross for this blessing? Well, the feast of Saint, the presentation of the Lord, which is the day before St. Blaise, is called Candlemas, in which Christians would bring their candles to get them through the winter to be blessed. So these candles were blessed on the feast of the presentation of the Lord on Candlemas, and they're used for the blessing of the throat on the feast of St. Blaise, or on the Mass um, nearest to that feast day. So it's a wonderful tradition, getting God's protection against sicknesses, especially related to the throat, which are pretty common during the season of winter. Go make disciples. God bless.